Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all had a great weekend. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Gus Noah. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. It's not going to be a tutorial. It's going to be more of like a breakdown, overview, review of why I use this equipment for whenever I'm shooting. So now let's get into the video. Don't believe the narcissism when everyone projects and expects you to listen to them. Make no mistake, I live in a prison. Okay, so the piece of equipment that I'm going to be going over today that I love to use for my filming is the DJI Mavic Air. It's a very small and compact drone that I love because I can literally throw it in my backpack for a lot of running gun filming that I do. It's the wings fold in and everything and it fits in this case so it's basically as small as it can get. It doesn't take up as much room as like a DJI Inspire 2 so I can just throw it in my backpack and as well for the controller. It folds up, the antennas fold down and what you use to view everything as you're flying is your phone. So all you gotta do is just download the DJI app and that's all you need. So for the camera on the drone, it's a three axis gimbal, not a two axis, which is amazing for such a small drone. Most drones that are that size are a two axis gimbal. And what a three axis gimbal really helps with is that vertical shake, which two axis gimbals you would still see at times, especially when it was windy. And when it's drone, it also does a very, very good job when in windy conditions. Cause when I was in Iceland, I would get some crosswinds that might be at like 20 miles an hour and you'd see the drone like this, but the image would be completely stable and smooth. That's why I love the three axis gimbal so much on this drone. And as well for the video quality, it shoots up to 4K at 30 frames per second. And also it shoots 1080p at 120 frames per second. And that's amazing to be able to capture slow motion on this small camera. You can capture people driving, riding bikes, running any kind of action shots at slow motion on this. And for the photographers, I love to do a lot of aerial drone photos. This camera shoots up to 12 meg megapixel stills at raw, which is awesome because you can fully edit everything at the full flexibility and everything when you're editing the photo in Lightroom as if you're shooting, for example, say on the GoPro drone, you can't shoot raw on a GoPro. It's all in JPEG and you don't have the flexibility as if it was a raw image. And for the different things the drone offers, it offers a mode called active tracking. So say you're by yourself, you have no one else to film or fly the drone while you're doing something, you can do this all by yourself. You select the mode active track and you pick the object, it could be you, a car, or whatever. The drone and the camera will literally follow you perfectly and keep you centered in the frame in that mode so you don't need to rely on any Buddy else and for the pricing on his drone DJI sells this for $7.99 which is very affordable compared to other drones like the Inspire 2 or say uh, just a little bit more expensive the Mavic Air or Mavic Pro or Phantom 4 this is a very affordable drone for a lot of beginner filmmakers and for beginner filmmakers this is a very user-friendly drone as well because it also has obstacle avoidance and what obstacle avoidance does is say you're flying in a room a confined find area or where there are a lot of things that might be in the way, it will start beeping letting you know in advance that you're getting close to something saying if you might not be able to see it as well. And either it will stop the drone right there before it comes in, uh, to impact or it will move out the way and keep going which is amazing for a lot of beginner flyers because I, as a beginner flyer I was intimidated at times being afraid I was going to hit something or crash so with the obstacle avoidance this really removes that intimidation for a lot of beginner flyers and for the experienced flyers you also have the option to turn it off being able to have the flexibility of being more agile and so being able to go through tighter objects or fly through objects which is what I like to do after flying it for many years and becoming more comfortable with this and for the battery on the drone uh, flight time it says it's up to 21 minutes but realistically if you're flying a lot constantly and fast in one battery it will last maybe up to average 15 to 18 minutes for you and if you're flying in a very cold environment it'll um, take off a few more minutes from that because lithium batteries don't last as long in cold weather and for the battery also on the controller, it is one of the best batteries I've seen because it lasts me forever. I could be on a two week trip and not have to charge this once and only half of the battery would be taken up. Just make sure when you're flying to keep your phone charged because that's how you're gonna be able to see everything as you're flying and do all the adjustments. 
and they're also inside the drone so you want to do different color profiles there are different options for you to do different color profiles there is ISO adjustments shutter adjustments but unfortunately there is no aperture adjustments for this drone but there is in the Mavic Pro which maybe hopefully I will get soon and also do a review for you guys on that but for now this is the drone that I honestly love. It's small, compact, the quality is amazing and it offers so much in such a small drone and also is very affordable. So if I were you guys and you guys wanted to get a first uh, drone for the first time and start really getting into it, this will be an all around drone that you guys will love and get used to and maybe if you want to upgrade from this. But for now, and I think for a very long time I will be using this drone for everything, for all my run and gun shooting, travel shots, whatever production shots so if this tutorial helped you this review in any kind of way please subscribe and like I'll be trying to do more videos like this and thank you for watching